Okay, so here's um, a patient that has had an ACL repair about six to nine months um, ago, and now we're progressing into um, jumping type exercises. And what you might see is uh, asymmetry and quality of mechanics, both with um, exploding um, of the jump and landing. So this could also be a preventative measure um, that you could teach your pa or educate your patient on to prevent um, future ACL or ligamentous injuries. <clears throat> okay, so the first exercise is just going to be your um, your your tuck jump progression. Okay. So I'm going to have him get into a position, feet shoulder width apart, um, straight forward. And during these exercises, I want to prevent excessive frontal plane motion. So we don't want that knee caving into a genu valgus um, position, um, loading that ACL. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to go into a deep squat position. And now I'm going to have him violently swing his arms up as he explodes. So. I'll have him. I'll just wait. I want his. I want him to tuck his knees up so his thighs are kind of, are somewhat parallel to the ground. Good, perfect. And then coming down, um, coming down softly, and then um, eccentrically going into that that uh, squat position like he showed. The second phase of this exercise is he's just going to do it twice. So I'll have him explode. Bring his knee. Good, perfect. Good. All right. Perfect. The third phase just increasing the amount of jumps. So he's gonna do this three times. So maintaining good, proper mechanics throughout um, all the jumps. Fourth is that he's going to be jumping over um, an object. We have a, um, a, a taped line on the floor here that he's gonna jump over. So he's gonna jump, tuck, good. Jump, tuck, and jump over. Perfect. Maintaining those thighs parallel with the ground. <clears throat> okay. So now that was the tuck jump progressions. Here's the lateral jump progressions. So he's going to be standing on one side of the tape. Now he's going to be jumping with um, two legs with the first phase. So it's not all about the height um, you want the patient to get, but it's more so about speed and maintaining um, non-sagittal move or preventing non-sagittal movements. So I'll have him jump to the other side of the tape as quick as he can. Good. Maintaining good mechanics. All right, so for uh, the next progression, it's going to be, he's gonna jump to the side just like he did before, now he's gonna jump over again to where he started, okay? So once he's, he's uh, completed that with good mechanics and safely, we're gonna uh, progress to phase three, which is gonna be a single leg hop over the line. So he's gonna be in a deep squat position, Deep squat position start. He's going to explode fast, good, and then come down into that deep squat position, maintaining good um, control of the extremity. So now the, the last phase is now he's going to do the same thing, single leg, hop over, and then hop over. Good. So maintaining speed rather than the height of the jump.